Hi, and welcome back to the Arc Orientation. In this video, we're going to cover modules. Modules are just software packages that have already been installed on our cluster environment, so you don't have to go out and install it. Just like how if you wanted to run, a, let's say, a Java class, you're going to need to have Java installed. Well, modules are that Java JDK, JDK that's already installed and ready for you. All you have to do is load that module, and then you'll be able to run a JavaScript, run a Python script, run anything uh, that you would need, like a compiler software, or maybe even some libraries such as Anaconda. So let's see what modules are available to us. Um, and the way you do that in this environment, right now I'm, lo I'm logged into Newton. I'm going to just type in module avail, and it's going to tell me all of the modules that's available to use. So I hit enter, you see we have some R modules. If I want to load R. You see Anaconda, if you're a Python fan of the Anaconda libraries and the environment, um, there's GCC, there's JDK for, for Java, um, there's CUDA if you're going to be doing GPU um, uh, programming. Uh, there's a lot of different modules there for you to use, for you to load, and then be able to compile and run your software. I'm going to just press the Q um, key there to exit out of all the modules that's listed. And let me go ahead and also, oops, let me also clear... Clear this, clear my screen. Um, but as I, as you saw, there were a lot of modules there. What if you wanted to search for a particular module? Well, you can do module avail. And let's say we're going to look for Python. This will show us all of the Python modules that's available. So we have these, we have these. Maybe um, you wanted to run Python 3.8 versus Python 3.6.3. You also notice over here the D that stands for default. So when you load a Python module, by default, it's going to be loading this one. But if you wanted to specify that this the specific module that you want to load, for example, if I wanted to load Python 3.8, I would be doing this here. In fact, let's go ahead and type this out. So I'm going to hit Q to exit out of this. Let's say I wanted to load a module. I'm going to do module load. And I can just copy this if I want to load this one. Paste it there. And then so when I hit enter, now my module, my environment has this version of Python loaded as opposed to the default. So if I do a module list, this is showing me all the modules that are currently loaded for me. And you'll notice that there's not just this one that's loaded. Not, it doesn't just say Python 3.8 but all the dependencies of Python 3.8. So it loaded GCC, this uh, proto buff, uh, SQL Lite, et cetera. So it loaded all of those for me. Let's say I don't want, I no longer want the module loaded. Well, I can do a module unload and I want to unload Python. So I do unload um, Python, I hit enter and let's go ahead and do a module list again, just to see what's loaded. And you see, I don't have any modules listed or loaded because I did this unload, this module unload there. So you can load multiple modules at once. Let's say if I wanted to load um, Python and GCC, I can do module load Python. So that's the first one. And then let's say I wanted to load GCC. Also, I hit enter. And then if I do module list, it should show all the modules that are listed that are currently loaded. And here are all the modules that are currently loaded in my environment. Let's say I wanted to remove a particular one. Um, or actually not a particular one, if I want to remove all of them all at once, instead of just doing unload Python, you could do module purge, module purge. And it's going to remove all of the modules loaded in my environment. So when I do module list, there's nothing loaded there. So before you want to run something, let's say you want to run, um, in this case, Python, you have to load the module first and you can load multiple modules and then you can remove them as you want. Remember to also use module list to see what's loaded and then you'll be able to see what's actually loaded in the environment before you use it. Next, we're going to go into some of the folders that we have, but this was how to load a module. You will need to load these modules before you run code. 